Many people want a revolution, but I'm asking you what it will be like. Well, I think what it won't be like is a huge disparity between rich and poor, where 300 Americans have the same amount of wealth as the 85 million poorest Americans, where there is a, an exploited and underserved underclass that are being continually ignored, where, where welfare is slashed while Cameron and Osborne go to court to defend the rights of bankers to continue receiving to their bonuses. We can no longer have erroneous, duplicitous systems held in place unless it's for the serp only systems that serve the planet and serve the population of the planet can be allowed to survive. Not ones that serve elites, be they a political or corporate elites. Time is now. These movements are already occurring. It's happening everywhere. We're in a time where communication is instantaneous and there are communities all over the world. The Occupy movement made a difference in, even if only in that it introduced to the popular public lexicon the idea of the 1% versus the 99%. People for the first time in a generation are aware of massive corporate and economic exploitation. These things are not nonsense and these are subjects are not being addressed. Uh, as long as pe if people are empowered with information, if people are unified, if people have like a common understanding and prepared to look at what we share, what, we, what, what unifies us instead of what separates us, then the people are invincible. This is the irrefutable truth of uh, the, the elitist pyramid structures, is when the people are awake, it is impossible to maintain. This is why we need a police force and a disrespect officer and a, and a domestic army to control populations, because when the people decide this is over now, then it is over now. You know, when they an anal analyze the semantics consistently through mythology and theology of words like love, God, they find that the, the common theme, John, is union, that we just want to be connected to something higher. That could be another person, that could be God, that could be a relationship with nature could even be a relationship with West Ham United. I think the important thing is to have this central tenet of your being, love, compassion and tolerance. Everyone knows that. I think that we need to see, the, uh, see politics as the implementation of spiritual principles of oneness, togetherness, tolerance of one another and making sure that people are taken care of. Someone said, I think it might be Prabhupada, that a cave could have been in darkness for 10,000 years, but as soon as the light is put on, as soon as a match is struck, the light is there. So the light is coming. There's going to be a revolution. It's totally going to happen. I, said, not, not, I ain't got a flicker of doubt. This is the end. This is time to wake up.